What's up YouTube, it's Machanga back with another video. I get so many questions about laptop recommendations, so I'm always trying to bring all of you content on machines I've actually used for an extended amount of time in the real world. Today, we're gonna review the Lenovo Legion 7. Also, make sure you stick around for the very first giveaway on this channel, because in this video, I'm gonna tell you how you can win a maxed out Legion 7. More details about this laptop, including affiliate links with updated pricing, will be below in the video description, as well as instructions on how to enter the giveaway. Something that has drawn my attention to the updated Legion line of laptops is the minimal metal design. I can comfortably use the Legion 7 as a multi-purpose machine, even though it's a gaming laptop. It looks understated in this slate gray color and doesn't have that usual flashy gaming appearance. For those craving the RGB gaming aesthetics though, the Legion Y symbol on the engraved logo illuminates, the rear thermal vents illuminate, and a couple of other locations. While it's obviously not the lightest laptop on the market, it's slimmer and lighter than previous models, starting at 4.6 pounds or 2.1 kilograms. In the past, I couldn't recommend lugging around a big gaming laptop, but this one is much more manageable. Content creators can game while on the go, but also get work done with no hit to performance. Students and teachers can use this at home and in the classroom. I think it's important to invest your money in a laptop that can multitask for personal and business purposes. So let's cover the specs. My review unit is running the Intel Core i7 10750H CPU, the NVIDIA RTX 2070 Max-Q GPU, 32 gigs of DDR4 RAM that's soldered to the motherboard, and a one terabyte NVMe SSD. This is just one of the many configurations available on the Lenovo website. So make sure you go through the steps to figure out which configuration works best for your needs. We'll talk about performance in a moment. This has a 15.6 inch full HD IPS panel. It's a 240 Hertz screen that covers 100% sRGB measured in at almost 500 nits of brightness. It's HDR certified and has Dolby Vision. You can save some money though by getting one of the dimmer screens. The screen has been great on the Legion 7 in gaming, watching videos, viewing documents, and every other task over these past couple of months. The bezels are reasonably slim, and you'll be able to edit videos and photos without worrying about color accuracy. This non-touch display has a very effective anti-glare coating to help combat reflections. Plus, the available level of brightness is more than enough for indoor and outdoor use. I've enjoyed the deep blacks and true white whites on this screen, but if your main focus is gaming, this machine is compatible with G-Sync technology. So let's look at the ports we get. On the back, we have HDMI 2.0, USB 3.2 Gen 2, an ethernet port, another USB 3.2 Gen 2 port, the power port, and the Kensington lock slot. On the left, we have the single Thunderbolt 3 port, a USB Type-C port that offers display out, and the headphone microphone combo jack. On the right, there's a single USB 3.2 Gen 1 port. Personally, I would have been happy with a SD card reader somewhere on this laptop, but I understand it's not specifically marketed to content creators. So overall, the port selection is good and it should cover most of what consumers will use. Moving on to the keyboard. It's tactile and it's responsive. Lenovo calls this the true strike keyboard and it's been great in gaming sessions. The switches here offer 1.3 millimeters of key travel and it's noticeable if you're coming from a less refined keyboard. It has a full size layout with media keys and a number pad. I wouldn't call it the best typing experience since I'm a ThinkPad user, but it's not bad at all. It's RGB backlit and fully customizable with the Corsair IQ support. The trackpad is a decent size it's smooth and responsive with all the Windows 10 gestures I use on a daily. At the top of the display, we have the 720p webcam with privacy shutter. This isn't the type of webcam I recommend for live streaming, but for video calls like Zoom and Google Meets, it's good enough. There is no Windows Hello technology though. Okay, so what about the speakers? They are bottom firing, but it's a Dolby Atmos speaker system with dual sound chambers. They get loud and they're clear with no distortion. 
they're not going to compete with a lot of modern desktop speakers or some front-facing laptop options, but they aren't puny. They sound good while watching movies and listening to music, but most importantly, you can hear what's happening when you're gaming. I always suggest headphones when you're gaming, and I still do, but you can get away without them in a fairly quiet environment. So let's jump into performance. A gaming laptop is nothing without good performance. Again, my unit is running the Intel Core i7 CPU along with the RTX 2070 GPU. These specs are powerful enough to handle more than just gaming. If you're an aspiring graphic designer, engineering student, programmer, any other creative professional working from home, this laptop can handle the workload. I'll put the benchmarks up, but as many of you know, I like to test how machines perform by using them in my daily life. The Legion 7 is a great option for a wide range of users while remaining affordable depending on the configuration you choose. Okay, before I continue, I've partnered with Lenovo to give something back to you guys. If you want a chance to win a maxed out Legion 7 for yourself, it's easy to enter the giveaway. You simply have to subscribe to the channel, like and comment on this video letting me know what you would use this laptop for and share this video on whatever social media platform you prefer including instagram and facebook if you want a bonus entry into the giveaway follow my instagram account for more details on the legion 7 we're giving away check out the affiliate link below okay so let's talk about gaming for a moment you're probably doing research on a gaming laptop because you want to play your favorite games without lag and dropping frames. You can get that here. Gaming at 1080p in high settings in several games have been no problem for the RTX 2070 in this Legion 7. You can get up to a RTX 2080 Super Max Q if you want even more horsepower. While gaming and running performance benchmarks, the fans did ramp up to maintain good thermals, but they never got too loud for my comfort. Lenovo did a decent job with the integrated vapor chamber and dual fan system, although I have seen better thermal performance in other laptops. If you want to control fan speeds and even voltage, Lenovo Vantage and Q-Control 3.0 are included. For maximum performance in games, there's dual burn support that pushes both the CPU and GPU to max levels. When you do want a more balanced experience or to extend battery life, you can manually adjust your settings in the Lenovo Vantage software. I typically stay in performance mode when I need heavy lifting from the processor and the graphics card. Speaking of battery life with this 80 watt hour battery, once I disable the Corsair service that's on by default, I got around five hours of mixed use and that's quite good for a gaming laptop. I'm not a RGB fan, so I can do without the Corsair IQ software and all of the lighting customizations it offers. So if you want to extend the battery life, you definitely want to turn that service off or even uninstall it if you don't plan to use it in the future. We were able to comfortably watch videos and browse the internet at 50% brightness. Your mileage may vary. Once you've run out of juice though, you can get from 0 to 50% in under 30 minutes with Rapid Charge Pro using the included 230 watt power adapter. Overall, the Lenovo Legion 7i is a nice gaming laptop that can meet the needs of many content creators, students, and working professionals. The screen is bright and color accurate, the build quality is good, and the gaming performance is really good. I would have liked a SD card reader and a 4K display option, but again, those are small things that most users viewing this type of laptop won't even care about. This laptop starts at a little over $1,200 US, but for updated pricing, check the affiliate links in the video description below. For those of you interested in winning a specced out Legion 7 of your own, all the details will be below as well. That's going to wrap it up for this one. If you like this video and want to see more from me, hit the like button. If you feel like it, jump down in the comment section and let me know you like it. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe and make sure you tap the bell icon so you'll be notified every time I post new content. Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.